All right. Um, so, so some people didn't play last time, right? And um, who's missed? Who's missed more than? Did anyone miss the last two episodes? I think I missed the last two. All right. So, when you were last with the with the party, I'm guessing that you, um, you freed the prisoners, and then that was it, right? No, actually, uh, I had killed the big uh, ogre or the big, I don't know, something. Bugbear, bug yeah. I killed the big bugbear, and then I disappeared. <clears throat> That's right. Well, your character was there, but you disappeared. Yeah, my char- I personally yeah. was not yeah. since then. Um, yeah, so cool. So, um, so let's start from there just to catch everybody up. Um, so... Uh, since then, um, you know, you guys bungled. You guys bungled getting into the goblin caves uh, to the point where um, you collapsed the exit, right? Which you're, the entrance was also the exit. It was an in and out mission. Um, you went in, could not get back out because there's just too much, um, too many boulders collapsed. Um, on the plus side, you've killed. You think you've killed everything behind you, um, uh, so that that collapse will actually work to your um, so it will work to your advantage. Right, because you you, know, you you don't expect anyone to sort of come up from behind you, and it's gonna take it's gonna take the goblins, you know, several several days to clear that entryway because because you guys did a bunch of damage there. Um, uh, but that left you sort of stuck in the goblin caves, and yeah, you know, your your assumption is that there's more than one way in and out of the caves. Um, but your goal was not to go deeper into the goblin caves. Um, it was really to just go get the prisoners and get home. Um. Alas, you are stuck um, navigating the goblin caves. So you've you've worked your way through a bunch of passageways. Um, uh, they wound around. They were dark. Um, you know, they were largely single file. There were times when um, you couldn't see above you and you didn't know what was up there. But um, you really haven't come across. You hadn't really come across anything too significant. <clears throat> you have a bunch of prisoners in tow, um, including a father and two kiddos, or at least there were two kiddos. <coughs> the um, uh, the party made its way, and and do you guys have a name yet? Or right, I'm gonna start calling you. Like, how many of you are there? One, two, three, four, eight. Um, the uh, the enlightened eight. <laughs> I'll come up with something. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So until I hear something else, you were the enlightened eight. The enlightened eight uh, made their way into um, into sort of a cave opening. You, you you found that this this path led to an atrium. Um, and you were able to get most of the prisoners and the kiddos into the atrium, and then um, it sort of led into another uh, slightly wider atrium that then opened up into a cave. Um, sort of as is your way, and let me make sure I reshare this so that everybody has the map. Um, as is your way, um, you have killed your way through this cave, right? Um, so, uh, you know, Tyros, you know, Tyros popped in. Um, tried to do a stealthy sl- uh, throat slit and failed, um, got himself um, near death. Um, sort of awoken a bunch of uh, other uh, you know, other goblins. Uh, Syl jumped into the middle of the room and, and laid waste. I mean, she, I think she's, she shot twice. The first time was so hard um, uh, that it knocked all of the surrounding goblins to the ground prone. Uh, and the second time, um, she impaled a goblin across the cave uh, into the wall of the cave. Right, uh, so uh, a permakill headshot. Oh. So, good stuff. Oh, good that. stuff, Sil. <laughs> yeah, nice work. Um, I don't think you were driving your character the second time. Um, I don't think I was. <laughs> um, when we last left, Stefanos, um, uh, had, had had you taken your move yet? Because you, you, you'd moved um, into rain. You, you sort of moved, right? Had you taken an action, or did you just move over? I didn't take an action. Awesome. So yeah, so Stefanos, um, you know, went to heal some people and and do her job as the, the primary caregiver of the group, um, and uh, alas, um, realized that there are two more goblins in the cave. Um, one of them, uh, one of them, who we shall call Goblin Boss Lug, uh, seems like he's pretty big, um, and uh, off near the pool resting was a goblin fighter Gorp. Um, the, uh, but the big reveal was um, creeping down the wall was a spider, and it's a it's a significant spider. So uh, this is uh, this is sort of where we are. 
Um, Stefanos still can take an action. Um, so is it is it like a daddy long legs? No, is it pregnant is my question. Because I am not killing a pregnant spider because then all the little babies come out and then we are in for a disaster. So I want to ask here, if it's pregnant. Here, here I Does talk, anyone going... have a spider midwife as their hidden abilities? <laughs> it, it, it's funny. Here I, here I thought you were going with um, this humanitarian, like, I don't want to kill spiders. No. Um, no. <laughs> but it, it's really, you don't want to kill a spider and fight more spiders. Exactly. Um, so, um, yeah, so I'm going to give you guys sort of an acclamation round, um, or then we'll let Stefanos take her turn. But if there's, yeah, if there's anything you guys want to know or be aware of, um, I'll give you a chance to um, ask some questions. So would you like to, would you like to roll a perception check on that, Glory, and find out? And wait, where are you in the cave, Glory? Uh, I'm over by Sill and Sil. Goblin Archery Bow Boy. All right. So, yeah, so you're not going to be able to do, oh, the only one who could really um, roll is either Icarus or Stefanos or Tempe. Right, who's made his way did, next to the pool? Quick, quick question: Did sure. did we kill a lot of goblins? Because I, it's I see it, all the goblins are still alive on my map. Are you guys all seeing that they're alive? Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. most yeah. of them. I think, um, yeah. There's only the, there's one uh, next to the pool, and there's one next to the spider in the chest. Every other goblin's dead. The I dead ones we, have loot bags next to them. Yeah, okay. and I think once we hit, I think this is a, a glitch. I think once I hit next turn, they'll be dead. Uh, okay. Okay. Well, I'm that I'm just trying to make sure yeah, I'm I, caught I up. Did, That's all. I did miss one really interesting, important factoid. Um, uh, so you guys have sort of split up as a group. Um, you have sort of the action takers, you have the healers, um, and then you have what we'll call the babysitting club, right? So um, in in sort of the, near the entryway is is the father Flintstone. Um, and uh, just just to his uh, lower left is Dinjarin, um, your drow elf, um, who graciously volunteered to take care of the kiddos. Um, you know, he wanted to sort of like make sure that they were safe because yeah, I guess he has a big heart. Um, the, well, uh, and the farmers too. Yeah. So the, yeah. Well, that's true. You, yeah. The, so the farmers are kind of like a body buffer because you know nothing is as more important than the children, as you keep saying, right? They are future. Um, you know, that said, during all this chaos and, and, you know, while people were marveling at Syl, like, laying waste to goblins and splattering their heads against walls, um, something has happened. Um, uh, the little girl, Fram, I think it was Fram. Um, is it Fram? Nope, it was, it was Flim. Flim Flam, whatever. Um, so the little girl and one of the, gob or one of the, uh, one of the farm workers have gone missing. Hmm. So right, farm worker so, people. Dum dum dum. Don't know. Um, yeah, so, you know, so here's what I can tell you. Like, you know, like what is what you can observe, right? They were there. Um, there were some conversations around um, what should happen. Should you guys send someone after them? Uh, Dinjarin, I think, at one point volunteered to go after them, and and the party maybe didn't think that was such a good idea, if I remember correctly. <clears throat> the father doesn't want to leave his son behind, um, so you guys are kind of at an impasse, right? You know, investigate, you know, investigate um, uh, the child, um, or just sort of like maybe take care of the business at hand, which happens to be a big hairy spider, um, and then sort of take care of the children, or or, or not. Um, so I sort of leave it up to you guys on what you want to do. Now, someone said they wanted to do a, you know, to know if the spider is pregnant. Um, um, so Stefanos, you're you're welcome to roll, or so Stefanos, Icarus, or Tempe, you guys are welcome to to roll. Um, uh, I guess that would be actually nature. So under your skills, do tab, we know uh, if the child was taken, or, or did he leave a, by himself? I want to know, know what that, the spider's weakness is. I don't care if it's pregnant. So so let me answer your questions in order. So um, so the what you know is that the farmhand and the child were there. And there was some exchange um, where he, you know, he, he, the farmhand had suggested maybe um, getting a little bit closer to the to the entrance to the cave as opposed to being so exposed. Um, uh, so he made his way over there. Um, I think it was because he didn't necessarily trust Dinjarin, um, if I remember correctly, as part of that conversation. Um, this your drow elf is is very readily volunteering to take care of kids, um, which isn't necessarily usually within their nature, but. Um, you know, but it could just be that Dinjarin has a big heart. Um, and then... The Never said I was, was good at it. Ah, 
that's true. Um, so the next thing you know, the, like they're gone, like the child's gone, right? And the farmhand. So they're both they're both gone. So it's not just a child; um, they're both gone. And that's that's all you know, so. Um And then on the other question is, you know, if you want to know about the spider, then roll a nature check, Tempe. And then um, if there's no other requests, then we'll move on to the actual next uh, next bit of combat. Okay. So nature is in. Abilities and nope. skills. Skills. All of your checks. Funny, just just for the record, the skills like, all of your checks are in um are, are in skills. Okay. Did you so, guys ask about the water at all? I sorry, I'm just curious about like whether or not it was acid or anything. No, we haven't gotten to the water yet. We oh, basically okay. just killed all the goblins and then the spider was revealed. Okay, cool. Just curious where you were on questions. Yeah, they're, they're dungeon just, master. Yeah, they're they're just um, there's just this awareness that everybody's trying to um, like you really like imagine how fast this all happened, right? You guys have mm -hmm. opened up into this cave. Um, uh, you realize that something wasn't quite right. Uh, you dispatched a goblin, and then a battle is broken out. And so there's not been a lot of time to sort of like um, get your wits. And um, you know, for the record, Tyros is still bleeding out. You know, you know Glory's hurt. Stephanos is hurt. And Tyros is hurt. So, um, so go ahead and roll your nature check, Tempe. All right. Nice. So you can know stuff. Um, All right. So, so what you know about the spider is it it, it doesn't seem to be pregnant. To answer that question, it, it doesn't seem like many. Thank God. Spiders, spiders will, 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 will burst out. Um, um, <clears throat> What else do you know about the spider? Let's find out. Um, you know a little bit about um, <clears throat> sort of about the nature of spiders, right? Like they can climb on difficult surfaces, right? Um, that includes they can climb upside down on ceilings, right? They don't need to make any ability checks on it. That means that basically they can move in you know three dimensions wherever they want to move. Um, and fun fact, uh, they move uh, thirty feet when they're walking around, and they can climb thirty feet, same speed. So they can basically move 30 feet in any direction for every turn. Um, a little, a little, couple other things you know. Um, uh, you know, if someone happens to um, touch any sort of web, and there's webs, you know, all over the place, um, they're going to know your exact location uh, uh, with of, of any creature that's that's in their web. So just so you know, like there's sort of no hiding in webs, right? Um, the um, what's interesting is that um, the spider does ignore movement restrictions caused by webbing, right? So the spider can move freely around the web. Um, you also know what? that there are many, many problems uh, to deal with with the spider. Um, they like to bite, right? Um, so, you know, if they do bite you, you take piercing damage, right? Um, and, you know, you'll take damage on uh, from also from the poison from the bite on a failed save. Um, so, you know, you could end up uh, paralyzed. Um, for or in poisoned for one hour, right? Um, you will be stable. You won't die. Um, but um, anyone who's seen Lord of the Rings, you know, sort of Frodo's fate. Um, you know, from a web perspective, they can actually they have a ranged weapon. Um, uh, they can shoot, you know, uh, thirty to sixty feet a web, right? And they get a plus five to hit bonus on that, right? Um, and what would happen to you if you got hit by a web? Well, you would be restrained. Right, so then you're gonna have to roll. A, you know, you're gonna have to basically get um, a pretty decent strength check to burst out of the web. Right, um, you can also be destroyed. Right, so it does have an armor class. You know, roughly around ten. Um, you know that, um, uh, and um, you could chop at it and do at least ten points of damage, and the web will go away. Um, do we know for a fact that it's an evil spider? Like, is this like a Hagrid Aragon kind of situation, or is this like pure evil spider? Um, you can't actually ask any questions because you're not in yeah. within the realm of the spider. So once you move closer, you can ask that. Um, but <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, that's okay. No, it's all. It's I'm all whispering good. to Tempe. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. So you can whisper Tempe, and what you hear is echoing through the web or through the cave. Tempe, check out. Uh, does it? What was your question? Um, is this name Aragog? <laughs> yeah, Aragog. That's a bad question. Don't ask that. Um. Um. What else is in, it would be an interesting factoid? So um, behaviorally, uh, you know, weaknesses. Sort of, what's that? 
weakness is. Now, a weakness is, right? It, it, it has a natural armor um, that you're going to have to break through like any beast. So imagine it's almost like a goblin wearing armor. Right? Mm -hmm. um, um, so, you know, you know, it's... It, there's not like a you know if you if you target its head it's not going to be much different than if you target anything else because it's just sort of a uh, sort of a general um, uh, general protection that it has. Um, <clears throat> so so here you are um, and you know you're hearing things. Let's see if it if it plays. You should be hearing some spider legs popping around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. It's a good time. Um, so this brings us to, you know, this sort of brings us to the state of now. Um, where uh, Stefano, you know, she's seeing the spider. Um, and I just passively, you notice you notice that, um, and you're a bit surprised that the spider hasn't lunged at you yet. So you're wondering if there might be some sort of connection uh, between Goblin Boss Lug, because honestly, you know, Lug is, he seems pretty cozy up next to that spider. And I defer to you guys as to what to do next. Whose action is it? Is it actually mine? Or? It's Stefano's. Yeah, so you can take your okay. action. Um, you can't move because you've already moved into that spot. All right. Uh, I think I have to go on a bed check. And after that last clue you gave with the connection with the boss and spider, I was going to attack the spider, but I feel like I should hit the boss. So I'm going to do uh, drag your damage across, onto the oh. Amper, yeah, yes. drag your weapon onto the spider. Oh. Onto the boss. Is what I was going to do. Perfect. What do you guys think? Yeah. I agree. I think we got to go on the handler. Do you want me to yell at the handler to tell him to join our cult? <laughs> <laughs> Worked out so, so well otherwise. So you, uh... Okay. So you raise your bow at the at at, at, at the boss, and and you see his gaze. No. Oh. Oh. My goodness. So you know, he doesn't say much, right? <laughs> but but uh, he's uh, you, you're on his radar, I would say. <laughs> All right, um, next turn. And curious to find out Wait, if the voice changed at all. Yes. Yeah. Cool. More theatrics from me. All right, um, so Stefano, so hit the little chevrons, the little next actor thingy, and let's move to Syl. Well, I think I need to move closer to get it. Oh, hold on. It's not your turn yet. Stefano, so you have to end your turn. There we go. Now it's your turn still. And hopefully you guys just saw a bunch of dead people up here. No. Mm, corpses. Oh, yeah. 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 Awesome. All right. So right now, so still, um, uh, it is your turn. Um, you're surrounded by corpses. You've, you've had a pretty... Uh, a, a pretty amazing morning or evening you're loose track if you're in a cave and um you can move you can ask questions uh, all sorts of stuff um are you allowed to move 35 feet you are aren't you? yeah cool i think so so in in sill style you know she she runs again into a middle of a room um where she now has line of sight to three different targets oh actually i wanted to ask the jar to do a perception check is it too late? <laughs> um, th um, it is. You moved on. Plus, okay. I can only perceive what's around me. And, and it looks like Adam disconnected. Is he coming back? Yeah, my interface got all screwed up. Ah. Remind me when you get back to reshare the map with you. Okay. Um, awesome. So you've made your move, Sil. Um. And, okay. you know, it's sort of like the cave is your buffet right now. Like, who do you want to dispatch with one shot again? I'll see if I can get the boss. Well, I hate to say this, <laughs> but it's kind of about time you missed. <laughs> um, yeah, so 
Um, so you know, you do you do you know run in space. You have all this adrenaline pumping through your veins um, by having you know basically you know you stopped in the cave right next to this corpse that you pinned to the wall with an arrow. Um, and I guess maybe you were so pleased with yourself that um, as you raised your bow uh, at the goblin boss lug, um, you were slightly distracted, you know, uh, and uh, you, you did not quite connect. Uh, so go ahead and hit your next uh, hit, hit next person, and um, up next will be a farmhand. Um, most of the farmhands are just, you know, happy to sort of not fight. They don't really have many weapons. Um, so he's going to stay where he is. Uh, and that brings us to Tyros, right, who is um, who's, uh, bleeding out next to uh, uh, former goblin boss, Asha. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Tyro, seeing that there is action going on to the west, is going to slowly make his way there. And I... Okay, one second. I accept your move. Alright, so you now have line of sight barely to Goblin Boss Lug. Yeah, and at this stage right now, I am going to use a, a potion of healing so that if I do get attacked, I don't die. Alright, so go ahead and use your potion. Uh, remind Megan quickly how to use that. Do I click the the green potion, or is it the? Uh... Um, I'm not usually a player, so I think I think you can hit the um, the plus heal self. Ah, right. I think you just hit the plus. Let's see if that works. Awesome. So you are. Uh... Uh... So as you guys stand there marveling at the spider and whatever else, um, you see sort of Tyros leap to sort of the edge of this uh, this, this, this cave wall, um, pull out a, a pull out a vial and chug it. Um, you know, you see sparkles and goodness, and the next thing you know, um, Tyros is covered. And uh, for my cunning action, I am actually going to hide myself where I am so that I am out of view of Goblin Fighter Gorp and the spider. All right, so roll stealth. Oh, plus six my... so I'm, I'm assuming that you'll... you'll yeah, so I'm trying to find where my stealth is. That's in skills? Skills, yep. Yeah. Anything that I ask you to roll is uh, probably in skills. One second, uh, the interface is glitchy. All right, so, um, you know, so you see these sparkles, you see his body mend itself, and then he seemingly is gone, um, probably hiding between some mushrooms. All right, next up is Ga Fighter Goblin Gorp. So, you know, Gorp was uh, just you know, sort, of, sort of resting, resting by the water, um, just sort of you know enjoying his day when all hell broke loose. So um, he doesn't necessarily have his wits about him, but he's going to uh, he's going to come forward and. Uh, Right next to him is Tempe. So he's going to go to Tempe. Uh, he's going to take his scimitar and try to drag it across Tempe's neck, um, who has his back to him. And it is a solid hit. Um, Tempe, much surprised, um, finds himself moderately ah. hurt. Um, you know, blood, blood splatters upon the floor. Um, Gorp seems fairly satisfied with his, with his move. Um, and, you know, he has nimble escape, so um, he's going to also try to uh, escape. So let's see. Let's engage or hide. So he's going to... Actually, no, he's going to stay in the thick of it. Right, into I, I, the thick of it? Yeah, into the thick of it. Yes, so that ends his, his turn, and that brings us to glory. So I, will, I will clear your target for you, since... Uh, that person's dead and let you start the scratch. Cool. So I'm really interested. So I have a background where I want to know more. I want to be more interested in like, wisdom and knowledge. And I'm really curious where this farmhand took this young girl. So um, I, I, I also have an inkling and I want to use my um, witch site on the farmhand because I suspect that he's a or something else in, in human form. But I can't use that until I find them. 
So I would like to leave here and go find the farmhand and little girl. All right. Um, so the um, what you need to do is this is theater of the mind. So you're gonna have to make your way moving um, mm-hmm. to the uh, last place they were seen, I imagine, um, which would be um, the the entrance. So upper upper right hand corner. You're gonna have to move your way over there before you can do that. Also, you are hidden. Um, I can't remember what you cast, but um, as soon as you move, you will no longer be hidden, just so you know. Oh, okay. Okay. Does anyone recall who, who, who ran Glory last time, why she's hidden? I think she cast something. Um, I don't know which one it is, but it's okay. All right, so yeah, so you just have to drag your character up to 30 feet. <clears throat> oh crap, I, don't, I can't see the boxes. One, two, three. Hold on, sorry. Is that 30 right. feet? That's 10 feet. Oh, oh, 10? Okay, hold on, sorry. Oh, that's and right, there's the enough box. room to, to sort of maneuver between these guys. Um, Is that 30 feet? feet? That's 25 feet. Okay, so I need to go back five. Now you can go one more head. Oh. Okay. If you want uh, to. There. There you go. All right, so you're you're close enough to the entrance that you can maybe, because this is where the farmhand was originally. Um, mm-hmm. uh, if you want to roll an investigation check, uh, go for it. Okay. <clears throat> So that's investigations under your skill. Yep, yep. Just grabbing it. Nice, strong investigation check. Um, so what you see is you know, a lot of in the dust because this is a cave. In the dust, you see you know a lot of a lot of footprints um, uh, that clearly belong to these farms, um, and most of them aim aim south, right? Like as they're coming out of the cave. Um, you see one that sort of uh, sort of spins around and heads towards the, the cave entrance. Um, uh, you know, you, you, you ask the, you know, well, I mean, you can, you'll have to ask this, but, but you, you know that, you know that um, Jibgub, or Jub, <laughs> Gubjub was his name. You know that Gubjub um, sort of made his way to the back of the cave. Um, you don't necessarily know why. And you can't see around that bend far enough uh, to really do much more investigating. Um, but you're still welcome to ask the farmhands questions. Yeah, I would like to know if uh, Jib Jub or Jub Jub or Jib 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 or whatever has ever been an outcast of the group. Has he ever did anything seem strange lately? Or is that's my first question. Um. Well, every, all of this, you know, they're like, all of this feels strange. You know, we're not used to being prisoners. A uh, Jub Gub, you know, he's been, he's a fairly new, a fairly new farm worker. Um, uh, kind of, kind of keeps to himself, right? Um, hasn't went, been with the crew for very long. Um, never has demonstrated any sort of uh, behavior that would lead them to believe that he'd, he'd harm a child. Um, but then again, um, they don't know him very well. Um, they do know that he got progressively uh, more nervous and kept checking over his shoulder and then checking ahead um, before he finally uh, made the suggestion that he go back and take care of the little girl. Um, and he, he did specify the little girl. Um, has he had interactions with this little girl before? Um, you know, you know, they say, you know, well, you know, in, in so much as we all have, right? Like we're farmhands for this family. Um, you know, Flintstones. You know, he's been a he's been he's been a good uh, you know a good leader, a um, uh, good farmer, a uh, good employer. Um, and uh, you know, um, you know, the kids are oftentimes you know off playing while we're working the fields or feeding the animals or whatever else. Um, so you know, nothing. You know, everything seems to be above board. But but again, you know, um, we didn't we didn't know Jug very well. Okay. Does anybody else have any questions? Or am I not allowed to ask? Am I not allowed to phone a friend? Well, with, within range of you is uh, uh, Dinjarin. Uh, okay. Uh, Flintstone can probably hear you. Um, Fram, the little boy, can hear you. 
Um, so, you know, okay. and then I think to your, um, you went right past mm -hmm. Chob. So Chob was sort of the uh, Zintharian agent um, mm -hmm. that um, you freed as well. Okay. So Dijarin, if you have any questions that might pop in your head, you can let me know. I'm going to ask the little boy, uh, did the um, little girl, like, like, did he see his sister walk away with the man? And did she seem frightened? I, I didn't see anything. I, I'm, I'm afraid. Uh, uh, but I, I didn't see anything. I was, I was, I was holding my dad, and um, I, I don't want to be here anymore. It was so <laughs> weird. <laughs> Uh, I the love child it. sounds like an oompa loompa. <laughs> That's awesome. That was amazing. I did my best, you guys. Okay. I mean, I'm not a voice actor. <laughs> that is amazing. Okay. Um, but of Dinjarin, that was some cinema very day. <laughs> Dinjarin, do you have any questions that you can think of? Uh, you know, they are only human, so. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. so just to be to be clear, you can ask Dinjarin questions, but um, Dinjarin isn't. It's not his turn to ask questions. Right. Um, oh. And, you, and, and I'll let you ask one more because you know each turn's roughly six seconds, yeah. and I think you. Oh, sorry. You've had a pretty good conversation so far. <laughs> okay. Well, then I'm um, I'm gonna just stay here then because I'm I want to go find them. Um, there's but there's not really any kind of action I can take. Awesome. I don't think. That so. makes sense. All right, so end your turn. Oh, I can do that. Yeah. Oh, God, my six seconds is way over. Okay. I clicked it. There. All right, this brings us to Paul Blart, farmhand. Um, you know, Paul's like, you know, Paul's like, you know, he, he leans over and whispers in the ear, like, between you and I, I've never trusted that guy. And then goes about his day. Uh, that brings us to Clemanzi, who has nothing to say. He's just sort of there looking around. Mo Sislak, um, he's like buried himself in the corner. Um, it's pretty unclear of whether or not you're you're protecting him, um, or, or he's protecting anybody, or if he's just protecting himself. Um, same with Larry. Larry's the, you know the bookend. Um, he's on the other side of the wall, um, and you know Numchum, you know Numchum seems to be doing a pretty decent job. But everybody's sort of is sort of holding their own from a harm, farmhand perspective. Um, that brings us to Chob. Yeah, so so Chob, you know Chob sees his duty in all of this um, to really as much as possible protect the prisoners, and uh, he spent some time with them, and as well, especially the kids. He's super bothered, um, you know, by. Um, uh, the fact that that the little girl disappeared. So um, for his turn, he's going to sort of hang tight, um, and um, he's going to ask Dinjarin, you know, straight up, you know, what did you do with the children? What did you do with the child and the farmhand? I was only protecting them. I I don't know. I'm as clueless as the rest of you. I don't know what happened to them. <laughs> so you're saying you didn't see anything? They're right next to you, um, and then they're not, and you didn't see or hear anything. I honestly, I can honestly say I did not see or hear anything in the in that moment. Yeah, your honesty, your honesty couldn't buy a cup of coffee, from what I can tell. Um, I, I've seen, <laughs> I, I, I've seen the look in your eye. I've seen, you know, I, I've known Dro. I'm not, you know, you may be able to hornswoggle these guys, but, um, but I don't, I don't trust you. And and he he calls out the Flintstone. You know, keep an eye on your other child. Keep him close. And then he's going to end his turn. All right, this brings us to the kitty cat. Icarus. Oh, man. Um, well, I'm, I'm interested in killing this, this goblin boss here. Um, having never played this character really before, can I ask... Do I have any kind of a ranged attack that's any good, or do I need to get up close? Um, you go look at your actions, and you have mm -hmm. a ridiculous number of things, it looks like. Um, uh, most of them are, are close up, but you do have... Um, I don't even know where she got some of the stuff. Refined grease? Uh, anyway. Um, <laughs> just claws? Uh, yeah. 
Um, so you, you have a crossbow, right, which will do some damage. You also have a javelin that you can toss. Um, and that's probably from a ranged perspective what you got. Um, but more often than not, you can also easily move up on top of the goblin boss lug. Okay. Um, oh, you also. So have a to do that, I would drag my, I would drag myself over. Yeah, so you'll drag your drag your little character to the box that you want to be in. And so long as it's less than 30 feet, which he's only 25 feet away, so you should be good to go. All right, I shall approve of this. So you're going to place yourself um, catty corner to him. Uh, right next to the, right between this chest, but also within each of the spider, correct? Since yes. you're new to this, I will give you a, I will give you a, an indication. If you don't want to take on both of them, you may want to move here, right? Because you have some cover from the treasure stuff and the, and that pedestal. That's, as well as that's the smart. I'll do that. Okay. Yeah. We're all learning. Um, uh, and, and, and glory, you know, You guys hear Glory call out in Goblin something, but you guys can't pick out. Most of you guys can't pick out what she said in the chat window. All right, so um, you then attack. You know, you attack. Um, uh, you know, Goblin boss uh, Lug, right? So you did that well. Um, now you drag the damage to him. Awesome. So, you know, you don't, uh, Lug, you know, Lug is a pretty big guy, right? And, um, you know, you come upon him and he, and he, he looks up at you. you. You don't see fear, you see hate. And um, he says, <laughs> that's all he said. So, that, that, that was a great hit. Yeah. So you hit him super hard. All right, all right, cool. So um, uh, that is the end of your turn. Um, you just go ahead and hit the chevrons to end your turn, and you're good to go. Chevrons. Where is the chevron? Oh, it's the two little greater thans pointing to the right um, in the lower right hand card part of the uh, Aha. combat tracker. Yeah. Wait, I'm I'm so sorry. Where like where on where where's the combat tracker? Oh, so if you don't have the combat tracker over and that's interesting. So if um click in your upper right of your of your thing, click the little sword. Aha! 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 All right. Yes. So many things happen in the combat tracker. Um, uh, this brings us to to Dinjari. and and suddenly, just uh, just as an observation, um, you know, those over there, the farm hands between Dinjarin and Glory look really uncomfortable. I'm uh. I'm gonna take a step back and use perception to see if I could see down the hallway to see if I can see where the farmhand and the little girl went. I'm gonna move back here. So, um, Flintstone's like, no. I don't, I don't. All right. You. So, um, that was you casually. You can push past him, um, if you want. Um, but he's, you know, he's not having it, man. How do I roll uh, an intimidation on him? Um, intimidation is an intimidation. So um, if you want to intimidate him to move, just roll intimidation into the chat window. OK, I'm going to try to intimidate him to move out of my way. And I suck. Yeah, and, and <laughs> I'm not very good at intimidation. Yeah, and you know, interestingly, he. Um, well, you have a plus six for intimidation, so you just had a really crappy roll. Um, yes, I did. So, so he's, you know, you, you sort of, you know, come at him, you puff your chest a little bit, and you're like, you know, I need you to move. And um, 
he's Flintstone's a surprisingly large guy and sort of just broadens his shoulder, you know, lowers his head, um, looking down at you, and and said, says no. So, you can shove, you can um, uh, try a different action. You can still you can still look, you know, to investigation and, and perception because you can still see within the area. <laughs> Excuse me. But um, but yeah, you're not like Flintstone. You know, he's had his little girl disappear. He's he's not in a trusting. You know, he's not in a trusting mood right now. I'll, I'll roll a perception check and see if I can see down the hallway around this this. Okay. Let's see. Go ahead and roll your perception. This so human farmhand. Oh my god, I am just not doing well today. So you know, um, you know, you, you're you're sort of like trying to look around, and he's sort of blocking your view, and honestly. You don't see anything, right? Um, and you know you have this this sort of wave of humiliation um, rolling over the top of you. Um, any action you're going to take, or is that it? Uh, that that's it. Because I, right. I have to leave now anyway. So someone will have to take over my character. All right. So um, if you would be kind enough when you leave to text me, sort of um, what your your next intent would be, that would be awesome. Okay. Um, and then as soon as you leave, I will clear the character and someone can take control. Do do I, I just close out because won't my character leave? No, your character will still be there. Okay, I'm closing out now. Cool. Um, that brings us to Fram. So Fram's not going to do anything. Um, he's just cowering, um, holding on to his dad's pant leg. Um, and uh, here we are at Flintstone. You know, Flintstone, he's torn. Flintstone doesn't know if he wants to go investigate his little girl um, or if he wants to um, bring his axe down upon Jaron actually um, so he's he's gonna he's gonna hang tight for now um, he's gonna grab his son and he's he's gonna move a little closer into the, into the entryway just to sort of make sure it's clear that no one's going through there right now until he knows what's up that brings us to oh my a farmhand Who's doing nothing but sort of being the farmhand and sort of being, uh, you know, having having chops back. So, so now they're sort of running some buffer between Dinjar and and the rest of the farmhands. Um, brings us to Tempe and uh, the character. Uh, I've, I've cleared Dinjarin's character. If anyone wants to claim it. All right. So Tempe, you are up. You're moderately bleeding out. Um, your back is to a goblin fighter gorp. Um, uh, yeah. Can you um, can you move? Forty seeing feet? Seeing how I'm. Oh I no! You're forty targeting feet. Spider, my bad. I'm sorry. I thought it was a move. No, you were just targeting I, the spider. I don't need to target the spider. Um, so as far as generic actions go, I need to prepare myself to dodge in case I don't kill Gorp. For my attack. Uh, do I do that now? How does that work? What do you mean? Do you prepare yourself to dodge? Is that is that a, a second action you can take? I just have generic actions. I don't have secondary actions. So a generic action. So a generic action is an action. So um, dodge would basically um, that would mean that the next person who tries to hit you does so with disadvantage. I right? am um, one, that is your action. So that takes my. Yeah, that takes your. That is that your takes action. my. my turn. Yeah. Um, and, um, yeah, I think, yeah, so that would take your action. You still have a move, you can, so you can still move, you still have, you know, you could ask things, understand things, um, and you could actually, you know, you could also attack, uh, Gorp if you want. I mean, you are moderately hurt, which is, you know, you still have some room to, some room to die. Um, you're not quite halfway. So just a thought i just i want to i want to attack gorp but i also want to get prepared to get out of the way <laughs> for his counter but if i have to wait so, then um, so you could you could move out of range right like he can move first can move. yeah so you can move away from him so he's not within striking distance and then he'd have to choose does he hit sill uh does he hit stefanos does he hit um tyros you know I mean, you're a smart ranger. You're, he, he knows you're already bleeding out, so his choice will either be try to finish you and, and, and remove one person or do sort of like spread the damage around, hoping that the spider on its turn makes some moves too. 
Yeah, I'll definitely move. Um, I'm gonna go onto the bridge. Do I need to do that in two, or can I just tell you where I want to go on the bridge? I want to go um, through the water. So yeah, so you'll just do it. Do it in two moves. All right, and you can do your next move. There you go. And off you go. You are now on the bridge. Um, and and now that you're on the bridge, you know you're in, you're above this pool. Um, and I think your first thought was that this is probably a shallow a shallow cave pool. Um, but uh, you notice that um, you sort of see the edges of this pool disappearing into blackness. So you 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 can't really you're not sure you see the bottom. Okay. All right. All right, let's use the ranged weapon on Corp. Awesome. And it is a hit. Um, and, you know, Gort pivots towards you while you're you know, raising your weapon, and um, you, know, you can see in his eyes he's not ready to die. <laughs> we'll see. Hey, back is a bitch. Like that, goblin. So, I'm just assuming these voice effects are working, by the way. I can't hear them. Uh, so, um, cool. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're so coming through. One didn't work, or I didn't hear anything. No. Oh, um, so, you uh, you made your way, you know, you made your way to the bridge, um, and, and you did sort of spin yourself around, and, and, and payback is indeed a bitch. You, uh, you, you connected with the goblin, and, you know, you have him bleeding out in, in equal parts as you are, um, which brings us to the end of this round and the beginning of the next round. Um, Lug, it's finally Lug's turn. Uh, you know, so um, Lug has something um, uh, called multi-attack, and this this may not be a good thing uh, for uh, for Icarus. Uh, so he can make two attacks with his with his with his scimitar. So he's going to roll the first attack on Icarus. And it is a solid hit. Um, Tragic. So you know he 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 raises the scimitar and 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 swings it across for gold. And um, Icarus, you know, for one of the first times in this game, finds herself sort of bleeding out. Um, and as she's reeling from that, she sees that he brings the scimitar back across her one more time. Um, this time, not only does he not connect. Um, uh, does he not connect? Um, but uh, he he manages to sort of flack his scimitar on 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 the the, the chest and the rock, um, and sort of staggers himself. So the next time you know, the next time he he needs to move, um, he's going to be able to move about half as far. Right, and his movement's going to be sort of blocked until he can um, he can get a, a DC ten plus his uh, his constitution level. So. Um, the good news is, if, if this guy was going to move, you know, he's now a little bit hobbled. So that works to your advantage. Um, and that brings us to his friend, uh, you know, the giant spider. Um, I, we, we, we shall call the spider giant spider because I haven't come up with a clever name yet. Aragon. Um, Aragon, there you go. Wasn't Aragon <laughs> the hero Aragog. in the, Lord of the Rings? Oh, he was, <laughs> I was no. going to say. He was the spider that, of Hagrid's friend in Harry Potter. Oh, well, there you go. Um, all right, so um, right out of the gate, you know, the spider seems to be waiting, waiting uh, for, for for the okay, um, and then you sort of see the spider shake it off, and it's going to attack uh, Stephanos um, uh, with its web. No. And it's a hit. Um, so the effect is you are now restrained. So under Stefanos, I've got to go and say that you are restrained. Give me one second. Boom. You're now restrained. Um, so how do you get out of this restraint? That would be nice to know. <laughs> You'd think I would have done this. Uh, Range weapon, creature the target is restrained by webbing. As an action, the restrained target can make a DC 12 strength check. Okay, it's easy enough. I know how to do this. Um, uh, so on your turn, you have to roll strength. 
um, and see if you can break out. So that's okay. all there is to it. Um, and that ends the spider's turn. So he's not going to make any more moves. But his, I think his goal was to sort of decapacitate your healer. Uh, Stefano, so it is, ironically, your turn. So what I need you to do is to do a strength check. Um, so go into, um, uh, on your main tab at this time, and you should have one called STR, strength. Um, drag right. that into the chat window. Come on. Nice. All right, so, um, so Stefanos, you know, Stefanos, no sooner are these webs, you know, shot across across her, that um, you see her sort of explode out of the webs and, and bits of web fly everywhere. Um, and while that is your turn, um, you are now free and one second. Um, uh, sorry, my Bluetooth on my my laptop just connected and confused me. Um, but um, but now that you are no longer restrained, um, I, you do get your move. You just don't uh, you don't get an action. So okay. you can move you I'm can move, move up to however many feet it is. And then on deck is. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna move. Okay. Thirty. Uh, actually, if I move in this direction, is that coverage for me? I don't from... know what direction you're choosing. Um, oh, I guess in character? the other cavity of the cave. The other cavity. So are, are you talking upper left? Like, give me north, south, east, west. Sorry, bottom right. Oh, bottom right? Yeah, you you would absolutely be covered out there. There's there's no baddies over there. Okay. I, I want to stay close to heal it, y'all, but um, out of... With some coverage. Okay. Yeah, so move into a good covered okay. spot, maybe just around the corner or something. Yep. Perfect. All right, so you are um, safe from line of sight from anyone right now, which is awesome. Um, well, I mean, arguably, and... you could be um, an arrow could hit you with from Gorp, but he's going to have to right, shoot past Tyros. Um, although Tyros is, is hit. Um, all right, so end your turn, and it's up in Sil, you're up. All right. So Sil I'm has... kind of interested in the pool. Okay. Am I close enough to investigate it? Um, I'd prefer you move a little, like, to the edge, because it said such a deep pool. You already know it's a deep pool from, um, uh, from Tempe. So, uh, you know, if you really want to investigate it, you're going to have to sort of lean over the edge and look down. Okay. So I'll do go to the edge here. All right. So Syl makes the choice to abandon her compadres. No. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> kidding. Um, all right, Syl. So roll an investigation check. That's under skills. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Um, what you can see, I'll give you, it's like, it's barely, right? Um, what you can see, um, is that, uh, this is unbelievably deep, right? Um, you don't see the bottom either. Um, you do see, um, what maybe looks like the signs of struggle on the edges of it. Um, uh, and, um, that's about all you can take, right? I mean, other than the obvious, which is like, you know, there's a broken break. Um, and while Tempe is, you know, tempting fate on it, um, it clearly doesn't go across to the other side. Um, and just with passive perception, you also can see that um, it looks like there's some stairs that lead maybe to a, a level above. But that's all I'll give you with a with with only an eight. So you yeah, can still take an action now if you want. Okay, I guess I should goblin court. And not and your day. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, so Gorp, uh, Gorp lives at least for, for part, of, part of another round. Um, you know, the arrow just sort of you know, flies harmlessly past him. Um, all right, and then I'll just hit next for you. Um, farm hands aren't going to do anything, so we'll cruise through them. Uh, brings us to Tyros. Yeah, so Tyros, you are, you are currently hidden. 
I am. I'm going to step out of hiding for a and second the here. And you take is going to... Um, uh... And I'm just going to move over another five feet. Sorry, my headset stopped working. Give me one second, guys. Gosh darn it. I'm about done with these bows. We can, we can still hear you if that helps. <sighs> All right, I can now hear again. Thank goodness. Um, every time right, I play, so... my headphones just randomly like turn off. Um, <laughs> cool. So we're back. Uh, you did your move, and that means that you're no longer in stealth. Uh, what are you? Yeah, what are you doing? I, I've stepped out of hiding for a minute, and I'm going to target uh, Fighter Gorp with my longbow. Okay. And, uh, and I, again, Gorp, this is Gorp's lucky day. The, like arrows are flying at the sky from every direction, and just nothing's, nothing's coming. <laughs> and realizing that I aimed too poorly, I'm gonna put myself back into hiding position here. Roll it. Can we all hide, or is it only Tyros? Uh, Tyros, um, uh, because he's a he's a rogue, so he has um, he has a, a bonus action. Um, and you should you guys can look in your character sheets. Uh, it probably is under main. It'll tell you like special moves or something like that. Um, so uh, you barely you barely succeed, right? So you know those who are really paying attention sort of see the mushroom shake a little bit, and then Tyros is gone. All right, next up. Gorp. So Gorp is up. Um, man, Gorp, you know, Gorp just sort of almost spins in circles with so many options. Um, uh, but, you know, he sort of distracted, looks to his left, and the last person to hit him um, seems to be gone. Uh, so he's going to spin around um, and uh, actually he's going to target Tyro, or he's going to target Tempe, right? Because he's a, he's a wise goblin and he knows that... Um, um, one, you know, one dead is better than two wounded. So Tempe, prepare to die. Holy smokes, that was a solid hit. I was being sarcastic, but maybe prepare to die. Um, so he does, he raises his short bow. Um, he does connect with Tempe, um, unlike uh, the arrows that have fl been flung towards him. Um, and as he does so, uh, you know, Tempe takes three points of damage um so he rolled a one which is about the the best you could have hoped for um but it really did leave tempe uh, tempe hurting and um uh you know the, the, the goblin you know he shouts Enjoy your last breath. <laughs> all right so um so that ends the goblin gorp's turn um uh he has not moved, um, but he is going to. So, um, for his move, um, he already took his action. So for his move, he's just going to move, sort of a little, a little closer to his 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 spidey power. Right there. All right, and that ends his turn. Glory is up. All right. So, uh, curiosity and a little bit of irritation has overcome me. So I'm going to briskly walk past Dinjarin, elbowing him on my way out, enough to hit him in the ribs, but I'm going to try to get past Flintstone. All right, so Flintstone lets you come up next to him. Oops, I gotta move you myself because you hit a wall. So Sorry, I think I went. Out. I want to. Okay, go ahead. Where are you trying to get to? Right there. Um, no, actually, I was thinking about right next to him, so I could um, see past him if need to. But I don't want to appear as if I'm trying to sneak around him. Yeah, so I think I think the position you're in, you can see around him. Um, uh, you know, he does he does sort of spin towards you, just to keep an eye on you. Um, and he says, you know, he just looks at you and says, "Tread lightly." All right, so now you want to do a roll an investigation check? 
Yes, but um, I think my view is going to change. So I can't see, I can only see like this little area. Do I get a different map to see further? No, it's, it's theater of the mind. So um, okay. yeah, I don't, I don't have a drawing for every foot of, of, the, of the earth. So um, okay. Yeah, she yeah has, I will. And she has dark Sorry? vision, Tempe. She has dark vision, so she doesn't need a torch unless she wants to see in color. Awesome. Torch. So. Oh, I get it. Okay. Yeah, I'm yeah, gonna so, do uh, inception or investigation. Was it you said? Investigation. Yeah, under skills, you roll investigation. Okay. Cool. Is it? <laughs> All right. So, um, believe it or not, that's that's the min to fulfill. So, um, oh, from an investigation perspective, um, what you see um, is is a, a series of footprints coming through the through the door, um, and some big footprints going back out of the door, and some little footprints um, that aren't walking but look like they're being sort of drugged backwards. Mm. So it appears that okay. like the little girl has been has been drugged out of the cave by something, um, but it doesn't look like um, Gubjub was drugged out of the cave at all. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean that he took the little girl. It doesn't necessarily mean that he didn't. Um, it just means that it's clear that she was drugged out and he was not. So whether he went after her um, or he did it uh, or he assisted someone, um, it's, it remains to be seen. But you can't you can't really tell. If you had a little higher roll, you might be able to tell. Um, but right now you can't tell. Okay. Okay, well, I don't really have an action right now because uh, I'm not trying to kill anyone. Um, at least I, because I don't know if I can. My investigation didn't tell me I could see anyone else. Right, so, um, but what you could do, and this is just a learning moment, like you could share this mm -hmm. information with, with someone other than yourself, like Flintstone maybe. Like let him know what you know. Maybe build some stuff. Oh. Because he's he's sort of looking at you like you know. Oh, I see. What yeah, yeah. See. Yeah, I would like to um, tell him what I see and my concerns, right. and then do right. I also need to do like a a um, not a, like a um, not a performance, but like something for like persuasion to kind of help him be more on my side. So if you want to, if you want to, you can tell him the facts and let them stand on their mm -hmm. own, or you could roll and then uh, tell them the facts with maybe like a little bit of like persuasion in your voice. It's up to you. I'll just tell him the facts. All right. So like Flintstone's like, w w you know, what what do you see? What do you see? What am I missing? Oh, um, I see some footprints, and they appear to be from some, a larger being. But I also see small footprints that seem to be dragged. My concern is that your daughter is in danger and it's important that your son stay safe. So you should let me go forward and see if she, make sure she's okay. Um, and I will be sure to come back with information for her as soon as possible. So, so you're asking, so you're asking um, me to let you by um, and, uh, and to investigate, to go find my daughter. Yes, is with that, your permission. It, yeah, I think I, 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 that would be. I, I would appreciate that. Um, you seem you seem honorable enough, um, uh, but I would like to send someone with you, and it's not Dinjarin. That's so. You know, he he calls he calls to uh, Numchum and, and asks sort of Numchum to escort you. Um, so I will. You know, I'm going to move Numchum next to you in the back. The rest of this will happen in theater of the mind. Uh, but your move is okay. over, so okay. next round you and Num Chum can head into the you know, into the tunnel. Okay. All right. Cool. I'm gonna end your turn. I'm just gonna do the next actor thing just to speed things up. Um, uh, and this brings us to Paul Blart. Um, farm hands are gonna sort of hang tight. Um, you start. They're starting to feel a little hopeful, like that maybe they they like they know what's going on, which is a nice change of pace. Um, up next is. You know, Numchum is you know, Numchum's turn. He, you know, he leans over to you. Is you know, he's like, um, you know, you let me know what you need of me, um, but I do have my eye on you. And uh, next up is Chop. Again, you know, Chop sees this as sort of playing out 
um, in a somewhat positive way. So he's going to spin just he's just going to spin back around, um, and um, he's going to sort of ready himself um, so that if anyone comes to the entrance of this cave or, or approaches the way, he's going to take his action at that moment. And that brings us to Icarus. All right. Um... So I feel like I'm surrounded by enemies, and I'm going to die here if I stay here. Um, so yeah. your perception. I mean, so your so like let's see your. Where's your perception at? Um, is there? Um, so I think I think what you know, like when you weigh this situation, um, you know that you're you're hurt. You know, you're, you're moderately hurt, right? Like, you're about, you're, you know, slightly less than halfway to dead. Um, actually, significantly under halfway to dead. Um, uh, but just just sort of, like, taking a look at Gob, you know, Goblin Boss Lug, um, he is on the verge of death. So, while you're right, um, things can hurt you, um, it's probably within your heroic character to maybe consider um, dispatching Lug. Um, but I'm just saying that as the DM trying to guide how what I think Jess would do. Um, what do you? What's the All right, you think? we're killing him. Oh well, that was quick. <laughs> um, no, you're not. Uh, <laughs> you're, you're, no. You're not <laughs> uh, you did indeed miss, um, which was a super bummer. Um, the, uh, um, the what I was going to tell you is you could have taken a step back, so I will still give you that. Um, so if you want to take a couple of steps back, you can do that. Just, you know, if you can get, like, one one square, like, if you were to go to, like, say, here, um, you're at least out of melee range. Make sense? All right, let's do it. Yeah. Uh, awesome. Um, next up is Dinjarin. Uh, so Dinjarin is, is going to hang tight. Um, he does want to roll an investigation check and see if he's learned, you know, anything else uh, beyond... Uh, yeah, and he's he's got a, a nice solid, um, a nice solid uh, role. So, uh, you know, he sort of comes up with roughly the same thing that Glory came up with, um, with one sort of like addition. And he sort of he sort of calls out to the to the to those around him that, um, you know, the little girl didn't go um, uh, willingly. Um, uh, she, there was she's clearly struggling. So the, the, her feet are drugged, but they're also kicking. So it seems like there was some sort of a struggle. Um, and then, you know, he does look at the father and he's like, you know, how did you not hear this? And that ends his turn. Uh, Fram, again, just like holding on to his father's leg, you know, looks six kinds of terrified because he thinks he's next. Um, you know, and, and Flintstone, you know, Flintstone's just sort of hanging tight, right? He, he seems to trust Glory. He still doesn't trust Dinjarin, and and you know Dinjarin sort of undermining his his, his self confidence with what, how could he could possibly let his little girl um, disappear. All right, that brings us to Omai, hanging tight as the farmhand doing his farmhand thing. Um, brings us back to Tempe, who finds himself on a precarious bridge over a pond that uh, seemingly has no bottom. <laughs> Uh, okay, I want to do two things. I want to consume my healing potion because I'm hurt. So I just well, click on the green one or the well, purple one. Well, tell me what you want to do that. first because you can't do two things. You can do you can usually do one thing. So it depends on what the two things you're talking about. Are. Okay, so the one thing is definitely consume my healing potion, and another would be to either ready a torch or if the torch is ready, like toss it into the water to see what happens with the uh, pond. So. So choose one of those because that's, those are both actions. They're both actions. Okay, I want to heal myself. <laughs> okay, so so go ahead and and heal thine own self. First things first. Do I hit the green cross or the consume healing potion? Stack? I think you hit the green plus. Heal yourself. Okay. All right, so um, you 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 rolled your heal. Um, could have been better. Um, it, it, it's on you know just above the bar of kind of a sucky roll. Um, 
got halfway there with one <laughs> dice, and literally the worst you could have rolled was the second dice. But the plus side is it does take you into um, out of critical, um, and just you're now just sort of moderately bleeding out. But that is your turn, um, unless you want to move. Uh, no, I'm good. All right. So I'll go ahead and hit next. And that brings us to the next round. So Lug, you know, you know, Lug looks across at um, at Gorp and says, you know, you, you take care of those guys. I'm going to take care of this uh, this kitty cat. Um, grabs his javelin and tosses it at Icarus. Did I just roll damage accidentally? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> okay, hold on one second. Let me try, let me see if I actually got there. Got there. I did not. <laughs> Thanks to the cat gods. So I'm going to give you back a hit point. Um, if there's an environmental hazard, water, lava, cliff, quicksand, you find yourself being pulled by magic towards it at your movement speed around uh, DC 10 plus uh, your level of search check, beginning your turn, yeah, being pulled. All right, so, you know, so starting on the next, so this guy can't, can't move uh, of his own, but finds himself being pulled in. So um, he can move uh, 30, so he's being pulled towards the pond. <laughs> Which is pretty bizarre. Um, and that ends his turn. All right, so um, the giant spider re did recharge his web, which is good. Uh, so it's ready to go because uh, he has to he has to uh, five plus. He has to five plus on the recharge. Um, and uh, again, you know, <clears throat> just within sort of um, eye shot is sadly poor Icarus. Um, but Icarus is uh, undercover, so I I'd say she's. Uh, you have to roll with um, a minus. It's pretty, pretty much that. So it's going to go ahead and try to do a bite. Or no, it's not close enough. It's gonna. My bad. Undoing all of that. Spider's gonna move. Um, it's gonna make its way around to Icarus. Um, it's going to bite. And it is a hit, and then Tempe's oh, gonna no. drop, and then we're gonna we're gonna end our we're gonna end after this round. We're gonna end. So it's also going to do damage, which really messes this person up, right? Um, and then you also have to take two D eight of poison. So for the first time ever, one of your characters finds itself. Well, wait, no, wait. I think Tyros did this. Um, uh, when we when we start the game again next time, um, Icarus is dying. So she will have she has three saving throws uh, to stabilize herself. Um, otherwise, she will suffer permanent death. Um, and in case Melan is worried, you played the character well. There's not much you could do. Um, all right, so on that note.